yep. Back out. <clears throat> this time, I'm on holidays, a week's holiday. Spent the first five, five days with my mate Jamie, who was in a video in the other channel, the van channel. Just uh, touring around Mull. Ah, oh, it was brilliant. Some nice campsites on Mull. Some lovely scenery as well. Met a few characters. <laughs> Aye, good, good little trip that. So I just wanted to come away for a week and just chill out and do nothing. But, me being me, while I'm here, up this high, and while the weather's like it is, I was in glorious heat wave. I thought I'd seize an opportunity, right, to try and wild camp on my favourite hill, mountain, which you might recognise is Sullivan, Sullivan in the Scottish Highlands. I just hope my knee's alright, that's all. I think I'm already going up, it's coming down where it hurts. You know, when you're putting all your weight on you, you saw me. That's a bit that hurts. But yeah, it's red hot. Had a, a night in the car park last night. Nice and chilled out. This is a godsend. Get a towel, microfiber towel, wet it. And you can keep yourself cool. Night in the car park. When I pulled up, the midges arrived. But um, then a little breeze picked up, so it was fine. So this is a long walk in. I'll just keep bringing you back at various stages of the walk. And we'll see how we'll get on. This is all down to me knee, whether I come on that or not. Fingers crossed there. Eh? I'm at the two mile mark. I've uh, been going for 40 minutes. It's absolutely roasting and hot, it's exhausting that heat. I'm bloody determined though. Uh, there's a little breeze comes occasionally, so if I get to the top of a hill, I'll just have a little five minute cool down. But in the walking in them valleys, oh, it's stifling, it's red hot, it's like Death Valley or the Valley of Death. But we're gonna push on, got all day, like plenty of time to get up. Like I say, I've been up before, it looks huge from here, but when you get sort of right alongside where you turn in, it doesn't look that big. It's just dead impressive, you're not in the views from the top, that's what it's all about. The views. Not him again. Alright, I'll just have another drink and then we'll crack on. Heat is intense. This is dried out. It was ringing out in the uh, river before. It's dry, sort of. Had to use some little bit of water. There's a slight breeze keeps coming through, which is lovely. But there's me. Um, we go all is there. That one. That's the summit. That's the top. This here's like a grade two scramble or something. Don't know if I'll be doing that. I'll just be happy to get up there. But I remember last time I came with Eddie and Nelson path goes on a bit and then there's a pile of stones and it goes that way so I'm going to be climbing a few of them hills just to get to the bottom of the the big hill so it's not easy I've, I've done the easy bit four miles on this track here in comparison is pretty easy but the heat's making it hard complain about the heat now not a breath of wind like occasional breeze that's it that's good. I haven't seen any people either. I'm expecting to see a few soon because there was people in the car park. I think it went up. A lot of people do it in a one, you know. I mean, I've done four and a half miles to here. There's at least another three miles to the top of there. At least, maybe more. Because it's deceiving. It's, um, it's all up and down up there. And then you get to the bottom of it. So you attack it from the middle. And there's a path that goes up the side. Like I say, I've done it before, and uh, it's not a it's not a technical 
path or anything it's just it's just up all the way like that the whole way up that's when you get to it so i'm just taking a breath here stopping every couple of miles just to have let my heart rate go down heart rate heart's racing like because of the heat but yeah we'll just crack on feel all right so I came along the main path for about this is about four and a half mile from the car park and then you come to a right turn a right turn path which is this you follow that it takes you hopefully to sit over the um, hills there and round the locking to the base of the mountain start of the climb but last time I came here this is for you Eddie Scott's wild camper if you're watching it was boggy as hell remember there was no path not like this so they've made it a lot easier we were up to our knees in bog last day we came <laughs> it's horrendous but yeah this is much easier much better really I was literally I was dreading coming this way through the bog but I read somewhere that they'd made a path but I wasn't sure if it was this one but it seems to be yeah that's a lot easier so really you just follow the path just seen another lad there he's going up but he's not camping he's just getting some water from the stream came on his bike that's probably what I should have done used the bike and parked it there ah oh, it doesn't matter here now here we are on the that path there that's what I was on about the bog I haven't even started the climb yet I'm getting quite a bit of height but I found a nice little uh, recharge point if you like going up here it's so hot this is ideal a nice little spring I've been drinking that and I've got no filter but there's no sheep around here so I think it's going to be alright I think it's going to be alright a right good wash with it. Lovely, lovely and cold. <laughs> but yeah, if you find a spring like that coming through all them rocks, chances are it's pretty clean. And then use a filter if you've got one. But if you haven't, I reckon you'll be alright. I've just got a crest over here now and then a bit more plodding. And there's a few people coming down, like I was saying earlier. I was saying it's quite breezy up the top, so that's all right. No midges, that means. Just taking another rest before the big climb. Just going straight up, straight up the middle there. You can't really imagine that that's the path, but when you're on it, it's all right. Just chilling out here. Better prepared people than me would have been in for a swim. Mm. I'm gonna start uh, addressing this not taking me shorts business because it looks very inviting, especially today. The last time I came, we camped somewhere over here, just absolutely exhausted, so we just dropped down and stuff and camped there. And then next day, me and Eddie went up there. Just had the day walk. That's good. Right, I'm gonna get a, a, a sort of a field bath. Top off. Towel. Wash. Push on. Douche. That's the lock I was just sat at. Yeah. So come up here into the shade. It's lovely to get out the out the sun. And we're going up. This path here, it doesn't look like a path, but it is. When you're on it, it's a path. And then you get to the top there, and then you make your way up over here. And the, the summit that way. If you're adventurous, you can do that summit as well, but I'm not that adventurous. I don't know, see what I feel like when I get up there. I've got plenty of time. Just want to get up and get the tent up, chill out. Nice.
The heat that's taking it out of me today. Oh, is it? Just taking another little breather. Yeah, the heat, it's not good climbing in the heat, like. That's the path I knew down there. And that's the lock I was getting washed at. From the far to go. <laughs> I'm, I'm knackered. My towel's dried off again. But, you know. Oh, I knew it would be a slog in the heat, but... I'm not gonna lie, that's tough, man. Nearly there though. First thing I'm going to do when I get to the top is crack a can of beer. I'm not even going to put the tent up. Just have a can of beer. Should be cold in the bag. Here we help. We've done the climb up the Belac. That's the uh, the other end of Sulevin. That's the scramble. That's the view over the back. Not bad. This is where we've got to go. Just this last bit. Up there. And then over onto the summit. Oh god, that walk killed us. Not advisable in the heat. Take plenty of water. And there's a wall here, right? But we, uh, this is my last video asking what the hell who built this it goes all the way down there legend has it that it was the landowner just to keep his men busy told them to build a wall halfway up here so they did it goes all the way down there <laughs> what a task i'll be like yeah yeah no problem mate just build your wall oh. Oh, it's hard back. Oh. Right, so we're just going to push on now. Up to the top. Take in some more of the views. And I'm going to crack the can of Jolly Beer when I get up there. Oh, but it's still chilly. If you put it in amongst your sleeping bag and all that. Should keep it cool, insulated. That's the theory anyway. This is it. This is the last scramble up there, and then up to the top. So I'm going to put the camera away because you might need both hands here. Camera's away. Two hands grips because it's a bit dodgy. Right, let's go. Come back at the top. Finally made it after a bloody hard walk. I started feeling really sick. I don't think I've eaten enough. That's probably the problem. Just have a look at this. I'm pretty sewn up here. Look at that. Oh yeah, <clears throat> worth the effort, worth it. Oh, I'm just gonna lie down now, have a beer, and then get the tent up. What a slog. So I've got the tent up. I've just come back to the edge of this, just to have this view. Look at that, man. There's a tiny little green pyramid tent down there. I don't know if you can make it out, probably not in this. Tell you a story. There's loads of flipping, buzzing things. Wasps and bees. But no midges, that's good. Wasps and bees I can handle. Midges, nah. 
I'll just reenact my little mince up to the the cairn. Minced up like this. They are absolutely shattered like. Yeah, the the, the people in that tent down there. This guy come up there before just to say hello. I walked past them. And uh the American lad lives in the UK. Hello if you find this channel by the way. I forgot to uh I forgot to pl plug myself, that's how exhausted I was. I forgot to blow my own trumpet. Anyway, he says that they came up same way I did to camp in that. Ah, look, this is what I've done. Just minced up and tapped out. And so the tent's over here. Oh, God. Break my neck on the top after all that. Just while I'm talking, just take all this in. But yeah, the lady he was with was his mother. 77 years old, right? I'm sure she won't mind saying that. 77 years old, and she's come up here while camping with her son. <laughs> I was stunned, amazed, impressed, blown away because that has nearly killed me coming up there. My problem is I didn't have enough to eat this morning, but oh man, 77 and she's got up there. He didn't want to bring the uh, tent any further up. He wasn't sure what the weather was going to be like, the breeze too much. But anyway, that's something else I like. Take my hat off to her for that. Okay, I sent my tent and I came back hoping that they were still here, but they were just sitting at the top before there. But they've gone back. I'm climbing back down there. I'm absolutely shattered. Top tip, you come here, bring plenty of energy. Because it's sapped me, that, like it's drained us. The heat didn't help. It's like a four mile, a four mile walk in along the, um, the path. I mean, it's not a bad path. Any other day it would be fine, you know, you'd probably be running it at points, but it, the, the heat was just draining my energy. I had a, um, a porridge pot this morning and a cup of coffee. It's all I had. It's not recommended, like. I've got a Bruce Forsyth on now, try to get a bit of uh, sugar in it. But yeah, anyway, I'm still in the setup here. Looks like there's a backdrop. See, last year's camp is over the stack poly is over that way if you can make it out it's a hazy kind of sunny night I think the sun will set over here somewhere and tomorrow's forecast rain can you believe but I'm not bothered about that just tonight a nice breeze see the breeze that's out now that's perfect for camping that's perfect midgy breeze no, the phone. They've got a phone signal up here as well. The other thing that's annoying is these tiny little um, flying tick things. I think they call them clegs. They're everywhere. Oh, they're horrible, them. They latch on them. They're awful. They do bite you. I've got rid of a few of them. But yeah, I'm just set up here. I've got my um, little cooking area there. If I can be bothered. I'm going to get my mat and everything set up. And I'm just going to lie down for half an hour, I think. Just try and get a bit of... Uh, bit of energy back but look at this let's leave you with this I hope the camera's picking this up turning a little bit hazy now winds picking up a bit look at that Can you make that out? oh I wish you could see that unbelievable what a sunset. Let's see the phone. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see the phone there. Hmm. Good. I'll just uh, time lapse that. See if it picks it up. Yeah. After watching that 
go down. There appears to be a deer down there. <laughs> How's that got up here? Oh, a deer. Look at it. Hello. Good evening. Well, you've got nowhere to run. I am friend. Oh, there's more. Oh, wow. Come here. There's more. There's more. I can't believe it. I can't believe they're up here. How the hell have they got up here? Well, that don't make no sense. They're hanging about like... <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Didn't know I had deers up here. Oh, they're gonna keep us awake now, aren't they? Giving it all the picking. Oh, that was an amazing sunset. But then it just like vanished into the haze. Shame. And the haze is coming, the rain's coming. Weather's changing, but you know what? I don't care. Had a little nap, I feel a lot better. Oh, I felt sick. I felt sick as a dog earlier. Um, so I just lay down there. Oh. I just lay down and uh, had half an hour. I feel a bit better now. Give me tea on shortly. Hi. I can't believe that, two deers. How, how on earth got up here? <laughs> mm. But yeah. Here's your view, there's your hotel. We'll be back in the van tomorrow. Right everybody, welcome to me camping cooking kitchen. We're gonna have some uh, Mingin burgers, the classic one. I could only get a pack of four. There's no way I'm eating four. Some nice squashed bread. And some sweaty cheese. Should be nice. No wonder I feel pretty ill. Black beetles in now. Get out, man. Beetles are mad. Anyway, I got some, uh, some new stuff off Fire Maple. You might see in one of my video shorts using this. Here, have a look at this. So, I'm struggling here with this tripod. So, it all falls away neatly, right? The legs come out. The legs come out like that. And that regulator sits in there. And it unwraps when you get that. So with the regulator, it's got, uh, it's one of them ones, open and close. See, plus and minus, plus and minus on it, which I think is ideal, because you know how often do you go to turn the gas down and you, you end up turning it up? So I like that, plus and minus, a little detail like that. I like it. Right, so it just sits there like that. I get this level. So, I've got to light it with a, with a lighter, so we'll do that. Turn it on. Oof, that's on now. Right, the bit I like is if you want to boil just water, you get the pot, put your water in. I haven't got enough water to boil at the minute, so I've got to keep some for the journey back. Put it on, and it sits on there. You know what, right? That's quite steady. I will not boil it. That is really steady. But look at this, that's full.
Oh yeah. Sent me a couple more. Collapsible mug. They also sent a tin mug, a uh, titanium pot, which couldn't fit in my bag. So it unscrews. Just got a lid like that, and then you just push that out. There you go. That's a nice big pot. It's the same capacity as this X mug. BPA free. Smells of nothing. But you can put um, you can put a lid on this one. So if you knock it over, you've more chance of not losing your drink. What's this? Tommy Tippy mug in it. For adults. Quite like it. Here we go, there we go. I've cooked the burgers. Um Right, we've got a situation developing here, like there is now a big stag over there along with them other two deers I can see it's a good big horns from here oh my god do they attack you or not? it's huge it's massive I'm in the territory, that's the thing I've had a look around, there's loads of scat marks and they look quite uh, quite old but oh god the last thing you want is a stag come crashing in I'm in my expensive tent as well that's all I'm more concerned about the tent I'll fight it off I'll just give it a flying spin elbow kick I kick it with my elbow and then I'll just smash its snout and then I'll squirt hand sanitizer in its eyes <laughs> that'll teach it uh, I think that I think they're quite wary of people, but sometimes you know they can get a bit territorial. I'll we'll have to see. I'll be keeping an eye on that. Oh, I don't think I'm going to sleep well tonight, am I? Oh. Anyway, I've got my burgers done. I'll just put the burger on there. I'm going to come back back to you about the stove. It might be a bit editing. Love a bit burnt cheese. The stove is mainly a water boiler. It does actually work for the pan though. So it could it could be potentially, you know, used for both. We're picking this up. There's big deer there, two deer standing there. I might see them. I think it's picking them up. They're getting closer. They're getting um they're getting brave. They're right next to us, they're about 20 yards away. My god. <laughs> well, after an eventful day and night, oh, I'm gonna turn in. I haven't drank my beer. I just don't feel 100%. Drank two cans well. I drank one and a half through half a can away. My first can was at like six o'clock. There's a big orange moon over there, like a half moon. Loads of stars out. Rain's forecast, so I'm not going to put the camera out. Unfortunately, this has not panned out how I wanted it to. I wanted to get the drone up everything brought the drone up with us and it's just too windy I was um I was hoping for a breeze but it just got wild died off now of course because it's dark but yeah eventful day I've been attacked by clegs I don't know if you know what they are them horrible ticks the flying ticks and they, they latch on you know they can bite you I've picked loads off I picked one off before and it was just full of blood. I squashed it. Blah! Sprayed blood everywhere. My burgers were uh, weren't great. I didn't um Oh I didn't eat the second one. Oh my back <laughs> I'm falling apart. 
I think I just need to get back to my van. Oh, the deers are knocking about somewhere. They're, they're over there. They didn't come near. They just um, they just sat and looked over. They, they sat down. They were lying down. So this must be their patch. I bet I'm right on the bit where they normally sleep. Typical. Just waiting for hear them in the middle of the night. I'm gonna put your earplugs in, and I won't hear them. If you took over the tent, that's tough. Oh, at least. No, I can do. A fluorescent light on this. Ultraviolet light. <laughs> Aye, anyway. I'm gonna get in, right? So we'll be back in the morning. I'll catch you later. Find out what sort of a night this is gonna be. the morning. What a night. Absolutely howling winds brain the hell out of the tent. I'm glad I brought this tent. Oh, look at this. What's happened? What has happened? Oh. Pea soup. To pea soup. Yeah, uh, still feel weakened. So this has not really been a successful trip. Just glad I got it done though. Glad I got it done. Saw the sunset, saw the views. Did the camp. And them deers, them deers were weird. <laughs> Took me by surprise. But it's all worked out. So I'm gonna get packed up. It's half seven. Packed up, and I'm gonna start the long process of getting off the hill. Ah, it's not gonna be easy. It's a hell of a, hell of a steep downhill. Raining as well. Hmm. All right. There we go. That was where I was, and this is where I am. Turned a bit, turned a bit wild like. So I'm gonna get off, I'm gonna get off the, the hill, get down the, the Bielak, and then I've got the four and a half mile walk along the road. I'll be happy when I get on the road. I'm not looking forward to this walk, so I'm gonna put the camera away because it's a bit tricky. You've got to use both hands. Oh. And that was it, Camp and Sullivan. Didn't get exactly what I wanted, but did it. All right, there's the summit. Let's pass this. We're off. Well, I've come one way around there, down the steps, into that abyss, across the across the little divide there, up over the other side, and then down. Oh, hopefully going down there will be sheltered from this. Good adventure. Good adventure. Always bring the right gear. Check the conditions. Be prepared. I'm so glad I brought that solo last night. Like that other tent wouldn't have put up with that. Sorry, right, it's night time. Oh. out all oh, right so I'm out of the worst of it the weather I've come down from here traverse down the Bielak I'm in that now I get to say the word Bielak Murray um, yeah look at the weather over here it's fine there's no wind it's quite warm I've had to take my top my coat off um, it's this this mountain here is acting like a big curtain wall, you see? So all the bad weather's on that side. The wind's battering. So it doesn't get the, doesn't get you here. So 
So yeah, enjoyed it. I'm gonna put my camera away because um, I'm just gonna negotiate this last little bit's a bit tricky. I wanna just keep a hold, keep a hand on. Come back at the bottom there. Long video of this. Worth it though. Well, I'm down off the um, mountain of doom. That was it. I was camped there, on it right on that end. There's people going up, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> no. It's up to them. Looked well prepared. I'm back at the bridge. So I've got four miles to go that way. It's like this all the way, pretty uneventful, probably. It's a nice walk, though. The smell's lovely. It's like natural, fresh grass, heather. Ah, oh, smells really clean and unspoiled nice good camp hope you enjoyed it that's off to the man and the, the lady his mother I just passed them on the uh, track coming down i didn't put them in the video but if you're watching this big thumbs up all right apologies it's such a long video but ah oh, what an epic it's an epic Epics are always long, aren't they? Right, leave you with that, what you can see of it.